the wilderness, a place of separation. Mark chapter 1, verses 11 to 13. Then a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Immediately the Spirit drove him into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan, and was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. We are considering this week this intriguing aspect of the life of Jesus, where right after he received the commendation and the approval of the Father, in hearing the voice from heaven saying, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, we see that the Holy Spirit sends him out into the wilderness. And we see the Lord Jesus yielding to that. Uh, a very important part of his preparation before he begins his ministry is that time in the wilderness. And so we're trying to understand what that means and how that would relate to us. This wilderness space is a place of separation. So you can imagine for 30 years, Jesus has been living uh, in the town of Nazareth with his family. Uh, he's been just doing what every young Jewish man would have been doing, working in his father's trade, uh, you know, taking care of the carpenter's shop and being busy, uh, you know, building the chairs and the desks and whatever would, you know, his father would have uh, done typically as a carpenter. And when he realizes it's time for him to step out into the ministry. He's out, he goes out there, he's baptized in the River Jordan by John the Baptist, and he has this wonderful word from heaven. The Father speaks and says, you're my beloved son. But, and he's about to launch his ministry, but the first thing that the Holy Spirit interjects into his life before he begins his ministry is sends him out into the wilderness. What does that typify? What does that mean? It's really a place of separation. So Jesus is now making a clear demarcation of that previous phase of his life where he worked as a carpenter, where he was known as a carpenter, where he did all that he did as a carpenter. And now he's stepping into another phase and there's a clear demarcation that has been brought about by this time in the wilderness. And so I want to present to us or point us to the fact that the wilderness is a time of separation. It's a time when you and I separate ourselves to just focus on the Lord. It's like what David said in Psalm 27 and verse 4. He says, you know, one thing I have desired of the Lord, that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. So David is saying, you know, this is the one thing that I want. I want to separate myself from everything else and be in the house of the Lord, in the temple of God, just so that I can focus on him. So the wilderness talks to us about a time of separation. You see, the Holy Spirit may prompt you and me to step into the wilderness space so that we can separate ourselves from all the busyness of the world, the responsibilities of the world, so that we can focus our undivided attention on the Lord because He's got something important for us to do. It's a time of preparation for the assignment up ahead of us. And very typically, when God is getting ready to launch us into something new, there is this wilderness space. And one of the things He calls us to do is to separate ourselves so that we spend a time of undivided attention on the Lord. So understand, when the Holy Spirit moves you into this wilderness space, He's inviting you to separate yourself, to focus with undivided attention on the Lord. He's preparing you for what's up ahead. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you help us to respond to the Holy Spirit by separating ourselves, giving, our, giving ourselves the time in that wilderness space to focus undivided on you so that you can speak into our hearts and prepare us for what lies ahead. Give us the grace to do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.